Hi there, so in this um, Excel demo we're going to learn how to record a macro. So what is a macro? A macro is a set of steps um, that you do in Excel that you can record um, so that Excel will remember them and then you can run it in a later date um, with one the hit of one button. So it's a, a way for you to um, kind of economize the amount of work that you're doing in Excel. Um, so here we have a list of names and grades that people got on their last test. Um, I want to be able to sort these names um, alphabetically, but I'm going to record a macro that will let me do that. So the macro tab, we click on the developer tab, um, and there's a button off here to the left that says record macro. I'm going to click it, and as soon as I click it, Excel will start keeping track of every click that I make so that it can repeat them um, afterwards. So I'm going to click on record macro and it changes, um, excuse me, so then a record macro box pops up. I'm going to call this sort name and hit OK. As soon as that happened, you notice that the record macro now says stop recording because it's currently taking note of every action that I'm doing. So how do we sort? I'm going to go to data data and here it has sort A to Z. So I'm going to highlight the whole thing and click sort A to Z. And it changed them. Okay, so that's it. So I'm done. I'm going to click back on developer and hit stop recording. So it'll stop recording my macro. So just as a way that I can show you that that worked, I'm going to click on sort X to Y. So it changes them up. So now Excuse me, so that they're completely messed up again. Um, so they're going the opposite direction. I want my record, my macro that I recorded now, to go through and resort them um, with Bill on top. So in order to run the macro that I just recorded, I click on the Developer tab and click on the Macros button off to the left. Um, it'll bring up a list of all the macros I've recorded. I have one called Solver, and I have the one I just created, which is called Sort Name. So I'm going to click on Sort Name, and then I'm going to click Run. So this will run, and as soon as I hit Run, these names that are listed over here should be sorted. So Run, and there you go. The macro went through and sorted all of the names just like I told it to. So that is how you create a macro in Excel.